My name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace expert and website designer. Today we're going to be talking about how to create slanted sections in Squarespace 7.1. So the first thing we're going to do is go down to design and go to custom CSS. And we're going to be adding a clip path to your different sections. So if you would like this to apply to only one page, and a specific section, you're going to copy and paste the code below this video. So it looks something like this. And then you'll need to find the collection ID of that page. So let's say we only want it to apply to our home page here. I'm going to find the collection ID of my home page. So one of the ways you can do that is to be open in Chrome and have developer tools turned on. And then you can right click and select inspect. And then you're going to scroll up until you see a big block of blue text. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get to it in a second. Like that. So it's a big block of text. And at the very top of this block, you'll see the collection ID. It's right here. ID, collection, dash, and a bunch of random letters and numbers. The other way you can do that is by using a Chrome extension. Um, called Squarespace Collection Block Identifier. The nice thing about this is you don't have to scroll through all this code. So if you get that Chrome extension, then all you have to do is click on it and it will bring up all the collection IDs and block IDs, which is super handy. So we're just gonna click on the collection ID to copy it and then replace this string here with that collection ID. And so now it knows to apply only to this page. It's going to apply it to the page section one. So you'll see my first page section here has clipped up. This is the path, the clip path that I've chosen is just this slanted section on the bottom. So my first section has this slanted section here. So a couple of ways you can customize this code. You can change this one to any section you like. So let's say I wanna apply it to my third section here. I'm gonna change that one to a three. Now it looks a little funky here because the body color of this website is this dark gray, yet the section background of the section below that is this light gray. So I'm going to want to ensure that the body of this section matches the color here. Um, so you can do that by editing the section and changing the style of this background to be the color or the same style as the one below it so that it flows nicely. Okay, because all it's doing is kind of clipping that section but not moving the section up so instead we see the body color come in behind. So if you see that you'll need to change the body color to match this section or change this section to match the body color. Okay. You could also instead of using a number use the words even or odd which will means that it will apply to all the even sections as they go down the site or odd you know one three five and so on so it attaches to the first section the third section, the fifth section, and so on. If you want it to apply to every section, you can just take this out so that it will now apply to every section. You don't see it much here because um, the this section color is the same as the body color, but you can see it is clipping this, this wording here. So again, you'll have to match the, the body to this next section and so on. You can also change the actual shape. So I'm just gonna change it back to apply to our first section here. Okay. And you can change the clip path. I just have this um, slant here, but if you go to Clippy, which is a really handy um, tool here uh, that I found, and it helps you create these clip paths without having to know exactly how this code works. So you, what you can do is scroll through the shapes you want. So let's say I want a different type of slant. I can choose maybe the trapezoid and then move these around. Maybe I want it slanted like this, or maybe I want, you know, a triangle slant. You do the clip that you like, and then you're going to copy this code down here and paste it right there. So replace that. Okay. You'll then need to copy up to polygon, from polygon to the semicolon, and replace the WebKit clip path 
there. And this just ensures that it works on a bunch of different browsers. So you shouldn't see any change right now, um, but what that will do is help it work if they are not open in, let's say, Chrome. So again, you can go to Clippy, choose any shape you want. So let's say maybe I want it to be pointed like this. I'm going to copy the code from the bottom, go over to my site and replace the clip path with the one that I want, and then replace from polygon to the semicolon in the WebKit clip path, just to make sure it works on multiple different browsers. And again, you can then do all the customizations we talked about before by getting rid of this to apply to every page or every section on this page. Um, you can change it to a specific number. Maybe I want it to be for my second or third section. The odd, even, and so on. And that is how you add a slanted section or different shape of sections in Squarespace 7.1.